Hello, readers and deep thinkers. Welcome back to Miss Pat's Reading Corner. I am so happy you are here with me today. Friends, I have a question for you. Have you ever had to stand up in front of the classroom and give a big speech? <gasps> How did you do? Were you nervous or did it come natural to you? Well, friends, our character in today's story has to give a big speech in front of her classroom. Let's find out how she does in Sydney's Big Speech, written by Malcolm Newsom and art by Jade Orlando. Are you curious about Sydney's Big Speech? I am. Let's get into it. Happy first day of school, said Mr. Simmons. When I say your name, please stand and tell us something that you enjoy. Sydney went last, and when she stood, she kept her eyes toward the floor. A million thoughts flooded Sydney's mind, but none of them found their way to her mouth. I can't, I can't do this. So Sydney said nothing, nothing at all. She plopped down and hung her head. Don't worry, Sydney, Mr. Simmons whispered. You'll have another chance. Then he made a big announcement. Our first unit will be when I grow up. At the end, everyone will give a speech to the class. After school, Sydney arrived home with jittery legs. How was school? Dad asked. I couldn't talk when Mr. Simmons called on me, and now I have to give a big speech. I can't do it. The words won't come out. I see, her dad said. I have an idea. May I show you something? This is Kamala Harris, our first woman vice president. Dream with ambition, lead with conviction, and see yourselves in a way that others may not. Like you, she has lots of great words inside. She just found a way to let the great words out. Afterward, he told her about Condoleezza Rice, the first Black woman secretary of state. Carol Mosley Braun, the first black woman senator, and Shirley Chisholm, the first black woman to run for president for a major party. I want to be a great leader like them when I grow up, Sydney said. You can, replied her dad, but great leaders have to give speeches. I'm bad at speeches. They had to learn how, and guess what? But since I'm shy, I had to learn too. It just takes lots and lots of practice. That night, Sydney sat in her thinking chair and made a plan. First, she and her dad watched video upon video of the other leaders' speeches. Then she began practicing. Each morning she practiced using wise words like Condoleezza Rice did. At dinner she practiced using energetic words like Carol Mosley Braun did. Before bed she practiced using powerful words like Shirley Chisholm did. And before long she was using great words everywhere she went while watering the flower garden, in the grocery store, and at the park. But the night before her big speech, when Sydney stood alone in front of the mirror, she froze. What if I can't do this, Sydney asked. Sydney's dad knocked and stepped in. Hey, my little leader, I have something just for you. Sydney tore open the wrapping paper to find the most 
perfect snow globe inside. And I have something else to share with you. A speech that helps me when I'm feeling nervous. He turned on a victory speech by his favorite president. As Sydney watched, she saw the president speaking with ease. Near the end of the speech, the president repeated these words. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. And Sydney shouted, Yes, I can. The next morning came sooner than Sydney wanted. She stood alone at the front of the class. Mr. Simmons asked, What would you like to be when you grow up? Sydney raised her eyes. She remembered Kamala Harris's hopeful words. The deep breath. And began. When I grow up, I will dream big things and do big things. I will be a great leader who helps people and becomes the president. Well done, Sydney, Mr. Simmons said. When the student next to Sydney was called, she saw him drop his head and breathe. She leaned over and whispered in the boy's ear, just let the words come out. The end. All right, friends. So the moral of that story is you have to practice. If you're nervous about something, it's a good idea to practice over and over and over. Write down your speech and practice in the mirror and in front of your family. And before you know it, those words won't be so um, won't be so hard to remember and they'll just flow out of your body naturally and you will give a wonderful speech. Remember friends, be curious about the world around you, ask lots of questions and read, read, read. Until next time. Bye.